everybody, what's Hilda here? And today I have another theory for you. A theory that the Angry Birds might actually be aliens from other planets. Hmm. But how is that possible? Well, let's look at this. I think a good place to start would be in Angry Birds space. It, you know, it's, it's about space, that's where aliens live. So, right off the bat, let's start with this picture here. Notice anything off about it? Well, let me show you. The birds appear to be breathing in space. That's odd. Don't they need oxygen to breathe? Yet the pigs need oxygen bubbles to survive, as you can see around here. Very odd detail. Is this an oversight? Well, there's more. Take a look at Icebird here. He's considered to be an alien bird, but what is it about him that makes him so alien? Could it be he's square? That can't be right, Chuck's a triangle. Could it be he's made of ice? No, we have a bird that's a bomb, a bird that's a boomerang, and even me that shoots fireballs out of my butt, or eggs, depending on which universe you're in. That's theory for another day. Uh. Take a look at Icebird's design. He looks very similar to other birds. Notice he has two head feathers, two tail feathers, which actually suggests he's very young. Because both the blues and bubbles have two tail feathers, and they are the youngest birds of the flock. He also has red eyebrows, similar to most other birds. He has a small, but yet very long beak, and his overall basic geometric shape, similar to how the bird, most of the birds have spheres, and Chuck is a cone. Hmm. Let's talk about Icebird's or his possession, the Eggsteroid. Now, in the game, we see Eggsteroid's base basic has two functions. You either, as the egg, as we see in the cutscenes that Iceberg is, Iceberg is trying to protect, or, throughout levels, you can find Eggsteroids that open up various levels. Similar to Golden Eggs in the original Angry Birds game. Hmm. That's odd. Now, this one object has two functions like that. Would this mean that the eggs and the golden eggs are the same thing? So it's the golden eggs and eggsteroids? Could these eggs adapt to their environment? Meaning, the birds come from eggsteroids. At least, looking at it that way. Now, while we're still on the topic of adaptation, take a look at these two here. We have regular Chuck and regular Terrence alongside Space Chuck and Space Terrence. If you know, do you notice anything about them? I'll give you a second look. Give you a second. Okay, you done? Okay. Now, if you've noticed anything about art, you've probably noticed it by now. But these two birds are actually the complementary colors of each other. If you don't know what that means, it's basically the opposite of another color. Like, as you can see here, red and green are on opposite ends of the spectrum. As well as one blue and yellow and purple. And as you can see here, Chuck switches from yellow to purple and turns red to green. The complementary colors of each other. Was this intentional? Maybe. This suggests that the birds can adapt to their environment, and I figured that out because um, because the eggs most likely started out in space, but then came to Earth where they hatched, which is why they transformed so quickly. Versus Icebird, who was born in space and was on Earth but didn't instantly transform. Very odd. So, these are the original forms of the Angry Birds. So let's switch to here. What's here? The birds can breathe in space, but the pigs can't. Icebird is an alien bird, despite having similar traits to other birds. The experts have the same functionality as well as both normal eggs and golden eggs. And the birds can see we can change their form at will. They can adapt to any environment. But, there is one more thing I would like to point out. In the Angry Birds Rio trailer, we see something odd. I'm gonna give you another second to notice it. 
Have you noticed it yet? It's the wanted poster. For an exceptional rare species at $100,000. It's the ivory birds. Meaning it's not each bird a separate species, like you might think. Because Romeo has gotten out and gone out and said that the birds are all based on different species. Like red is a cardinal, the blues are blue jays, chuck bomb is a loon, chuck is a canary, etc. But what if they only adapted to look like those birds? Not actually are. Which is why the birds are here for sale. So that would confirm that the angry birds are aliens. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!